Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to make box and whisker plots, also called box plots. Now remember, box and whisker plots are a way to display data and the spread of that data. They give us a visual to help us better understand the data. Let's jump into our example where we will make a box and whisker plot to represent this data right here. Let's say that 10 content creators were surveyed about how many videos they released last month. Here are the results. Now the first thing that we need to do is order the data from least to greatest. So we will start with three, so we have three, and then another three. Now I'm going to cross these out as we go through the numbers, that way we stay organized here. Then we have four, five, another five, nine, 10, 12, 15, and 18. Now we should have 10 numbers there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now that we have the data in order from least to greatest, we need to find all of the parts that we will need for the box and whisker plot. The minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. Let's start with the minimum and maximum, which are just the smallest and largest numbers in value. The minimum is three and the maximum is 18. So minimum is three and maximum is 18. Now let's find the median. So the middle point of the data, the 50th percentile. Since we have 10 numbers in the data set, we will have five numbers on each side, five numbers to the left and five numbers to the right. The median is right here in between the five and the nine. Since the median is between two numbers, we need to find the average or the middle point of those two numbers. That will be the median. To find the average of those two numbers, we need to add them and then divide by two. So let's come to the side here. Five plus nine, and then divide by two. Five plus nine is 14, and then 14 divided by two gives us seven. The average is seven, so that means the median is seven. The middle point between five and nine is seven. For this one, we may have been able to mentally just think of that median, that midpoint between five and nine. But in case you come across one that you can't do mentally, you can always find the average between the two numbers in order to find that median. Now that we have the median, we can find the first quartile and third quartile. Let's start with the first quartile, also called the lower quartile. This is the 25% or one fourth point within the data, the 25th percentile. The first quartile is going to be the median or halfway point of the lower half of the data. So let's look at the lower half here. There are five numbers in the lower half. So the first quartile is going to be right in the middle, two numbers on each side. The first quartile is four. Now let's find the third quartile, also called the upper quartile. This is the 75% or three fourths point within the data, the 75th percentile. The third quartile is going to be the median or halfway point of the upper half of the data. So let's take a look here at the upper half. There are five numbers here as well. So two numbers on each side. The third quartile is 12. Now we have all of the information we need to create the box and whisker plot. We need to start by creating a number line. Our minimum is three and maximum is 18. 
So let's start at zero and count to 20. That will include everything we will need. Now, depending on the data you are working with, you can adjust the number line. But for this example, again, zero to 20. So let's start with zero here, and I'm going to count off by fives here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let's create the box of the box and whisker plot. We will need the first quartile and third quartile. The first quartile is four. The third quartile is 12. So let's create this box or rectangle here. This is the box of the box and whisker plot. It goes from the first quartile to the third quartile. Then inside the box, we have the median or second quartile. So the median is seven. So we draw a line here for the median. And then lastly, we have the whiskers, which extend to the minimum and maximum. Let's do the minimum first. The minimum again is three. So let's draw a mark here and extend that whisker to the minimum. Then we have the maximum, which is 18. So let's make a mark at 18 and then extend the whisker to that maximum of 18. And that's our final box and whisker plot. We have the minimum at three, the first quartile at four, the median at seven, the third quartile at 12, and then the maximum at 18. So there you have it. There's how to make a box and whisker plot. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.